12 minutes into the flight, there is an explosion. I've just heard a bang. Don't know what has happened. Something fairly major. And now, suddenly, I seem to have lost all of the primary flying controls. No response at all. There was this incredible depressurization of the aircraft. The air inside the passenger compartment rushes out. It probably felt like there was a hurricane in the cabin. First few moments, it would have been absolute chaos, quite frankly, trying to understand what the heck just happened. Flight 123 had reached almost 24,000 feet when an explosion at the rear of the plane caused a rapid decompression. A huge volume of pressurized cabin air rushed through the tail section, blowing off most of the 747's vertical stabilizer, severing all four hydraulic lines used to power the plane's directional control surfaces. With no view of the tail from the cockpit, the pilots would have to rely on their instruments to diagnose the problem. With the cabin no longer pressurized, everyone on board would need to use their emergency oxygen masks. I don't know what has happened, but the aircraft is pitching up. I've got the yoke on the forward stop. I'm trimming those down. I need to get the nose back onto the horizon before we lose all of our airspeed. Right now, I still don't know the nature of the failure. All I do know is that it's very serious. Obviously, a major systems malfunction. I've got no roll control. I've got no yaw. I've got no pitch at all. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'll be checking the systems, trying to work out why we've had a complete control failure, because that is pretty much unheard of. It's the thing that can't happen. 